straight from the bins. Look what we have here in the box. Most of the box. Telegames Electronic Games Super Pong. And I think everything's in here, guys. Hey, Clint, what are you doing? Playing a little handball. Now there's more to Sears Telegames than just Pong. Hey, Gramps, you want to play some catch? Okay. Now Sears has a whole line of telegames. Hi, hey, Gramps, can I play? Sure. Let's play Super Pong Doubles. And some telegames have remote controls, so up to four people can play a whole variety of games. Hey, that a boy, Scooter, you got it, you got it. Telegames, electronic games, sold only at Sears. This was the first... Hang on. Oh, come on. This was the first system I had as a kid. Our family got it. I remember very vividly two things. I remember we had to disconnect the television to set this thing up, which was a huge deal because we had one television in the house and it was small. And the other thing I remember is only playing this one time <laughs> that same day. And we were all pretty much over it after the end of the day. But we may have played it off and on, but that's all I remember, those two things. I'm excited because when I looked in here, I peeked in here, looks like everything's inside. Most likely those of you that are watching this video right now already know what this is and have probably owned one at one time or you know of it just in, from the gaming world. But 4D batteries, which I'm hoping we have because I'm planning on playing this. Oh yeah, that's right. All right, so let's take a look at what we have here. Look at this switcher box, isn't that crazy? TV or game. Yes, this is what I remember. Lots of wires, lots of wires. Really cool to see this. I got to the bins late as usual, and sure enough, this thing, I think somebody pulled it out of their cart and they were just like, nah, not interested. But the nostalgia took over for me and I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta get it. Oh look, yeah, there's even the instructions down there. Yes, how cool. So this system is probably, I'm thinking at least 40 plus years old, right? 1970s, let's find out. Let's see if it says the date. Anywhere on here. All right, so there's your basic stuff. So I guess, what is that? The Roman numeral. This is the Super Pong 4, right? There's no date. But this thing feels heavy. I think the batteries are still in there. Oh, yeah, this thing, I wonder, this thing almost looks like it's never been used. So first things first, let's take a look at the battery situation. You know, I don't have the right tools. Oh, yes. We got the classics. Actually, these look newer. These look newer. They say family dollar on it. Oh, man. I wonder if these, these might actually still be good. Got my trusty Radio Shack tester here. Look at that. Someone gave it one last hurrah, it looks like. Let's see with this one, just to check all of them, just to make sure. Oh, yes. I don't know if you guys have shopped for D batteries recently. They are not cheap. But we're good to go. This thing is in pristine condition for the age and the fact that I got it at the bins where they just dump everything. We have our two extra controllers. We have our on and off, game start, auto and fast. And these are the games we get to play. Check it out. Now, I don't remember the other options for the different games. Obviously, Pong is the classic style. Catch, they all look relatively the same. So thinking back to when I was a kid, no wonder I don't remember a lot of this. Well, we'll look at it when we get it up on the screen. So I'm gonna take apart my Wi-Fi router and use that coaxial cable. It's kind of fun to check this out. Play, uh, let's see, now one to four players can play attached to any TV with an antenna terminal. We got Pong, Super Pong, or Catch. Basketball and handball, four play fields with 14 game variations, automatic on-screen digital scoring, fix blah blah blah, yada yada, speed button, and everything else. Well, you can pause it to read all that. Other than this rip on the front right here, this is a really good condition box. No water damage. And I think a lot of these did end up going into the closet and just people took care of them because it was a game system, but nobody wanted to replay them. At least not in my family. 
once the newer systems came out, especially on the computer, there was no reason to go back to this, but I'm excited to check it out. I got the coaxial cable. We just got to plug in the game system. And then I guess we switch it to game. And then I got to pick my inputs here. I think it's this one. I just realized it's been a couple years, about 30, since I've had to do this. This is actually not correct. I have it set up thinking that this would go out to my TV with a coaxial cable. This is actually supposed to be the, the antenna coming in, and this is going to be my hookup to the TV. So I don't have that hookup on this little monitor that I have, so I'm going to make some arrangements and set that up real quick. All right, we're gonna get this. If I hold it like this, just right, <laughs> I can get it to work. There is one dilemma that is unfortunate with the newer televisions when playing these old games like this that tune in through the antenna, and that is if it goes to blue screen, if there's any sort of interference, it just goes to blue screen instead of showing you a version of the game in with static. Now this monitor seems to be holding a little bit of static and then it'll flash blue if there's not a strong enough signal like that. I'm gonna try to hold this like this, and then we'll see how it works. I have it set to one player, but the other one isn't. The controls work, but it's not computer driven. So I don't know how to make it computer driven. Let's start a different game. No. <laughs> I don't know if this is supposed to be color or not, but fancy schmancy, huh? I remember it being black and white, so I wonder if we even had this version. How much of this do you want to play, huh? I was hoping to do Pong style with the paddles, but... Either way, how cool that it, I mean, the controls work, so it functions, and it has D batteries, which those things are like $12 for a four pack. I don't want to get into all that for this video, but I just wanted to at least test it out, and it works, you guys. How cool. Super fun. I guess I could play both sides. It's like playing chess with myself. Boom. <laughs> all right. Oh, there's two players. Okay, so now we have three players total. Just by plugging it in, this is the game select, not the player select. And then we have two on each side. Okay. I wonder if there's a way to set this. I didn't see it in the directions how to set it to single player. There we go. <laughs> All right, that's fun. There it is. I want to spend more time re reading through these directions. It's a little complicated just because of it's so simple. You got to do some combination stuff. Maybe for those of you that are really well experienced, it's not as hard as I think it is. But whatever the case, that's a real basic overview of it. I thought it was really cool. Super Pong 4 Tele Games <laughs> from Sears. This worked out. This was the bins find. Same with this monitor. This is the first time I got to use this monitor and I got it because it's four by three specifically to play these games and these older systems. And I might even stream a little bit. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching. Thrifty Mint. Things minty. Look at that. Packed and ready. The one thing with these older systems that had these plugs built in is that they would go bad if you didn't take care of them. Sound. Beep. 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 Automatic on-screen digital scoring. It's a big deal.